There we go. Okay. So, here we are. We're in here. Let's, uh, really quickly, for anyone who's never seen this game before, it's got the Dangerous Dark Souls, but it's also got the building of Minecraft. I have built all this. That building over there took me like an hour to make because it kept collapsing because roof integrity. Uh, the boars are multiplying. They're making more boars. They're doing their thing. That's my blacksmithing area. Uh, we've got a couple of things we're going to check on really quickly here. Uh, through this portal I've created to the Snowy Mountain is where I've got a bunch of wolves captured, and I'm trying to domesticate them. Get our redeems out now. Oh god, i got to turn redeems off. No! Okay, they're off. All right. You're acting up. All right. Do, is there any puppies yet? I see hearts. They're, they're happy about their situation. They like that I'm throwing them meat, but I don't see any puppies yet. All right. So, I'm just going to leave them there. That was fast. I don't like hearing that, Caesar. No man does. All right. Sonic right... Oh, wait. I'm still in the Guild Wars 2 category because I'm a terrible streamer. Valheim. Uh, there we go. Fixed. Okay, and then I owe someone two minutes of culture, so we're just going to knock this out. All right, uh, next thing to check is the plains portal. I've got a crop of uh, flax there. I need uh, I need flax to make fiber to make better armor, and it only grows in the plains, so I had to plant it here. Uh, hold on, we got to get our shield out because there, yeah, there's a death mosquito. Uh, da 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 da. Dang it. The knockback was too strong. I couldn't follow it up. Ugh, I lost half my health when he hit me. Alright, there's a mosquito up there. A little higher. Really? Ah! Okay, there we go. Hello, Mark. What's up, Yeehaw? Alright, are these ready to be picked? No, I can't harvest them yet. Okay. Alright. <sighs> okay. That there. Alright, we got what we need here. Go back. Oh, I just realized my phone's about to die, which means my bat, my uh, alarm won't work tomorrow since it's on my phone. Don't you love that? You're getting re when you get ready for bed and you use your phone as an alarm clock and then you realize the phone's at 1% battery and you don't keep a charger by your bed, so it just ruins the whole thing. All right, so what we're going to do now is I have some fiber, linen, sorry, from earlier. What can I do with this? Uh, options. We could make... There was a new weapon. Here we go, the porcupine. It's a mace. Takes 10. I've got 20 right now. So, aside from that, what could I do with the other 10? Padded Greaves? No, that takes 20. Cuirass takes 20. Helmet? 15. Hmm. Mugluck, you need to friend me on Steam for tomorrow. Tuna Sandwich, I sent you a request uh, a few days ago. Okay. Yeah, if you can ping me on Steam, I'll do it. All right, let's make the porcupine. Uh, here we go. Five fine wood, 20 iron, five needles. Those are the stingers from the death mosquitoes. Four, five fine wood. I do not have a lot of this stuff. 20 iron. All right, here we go. The porcupine. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh my god. Look at that thing, chat. <laughs> that is, that looks scary to hold. Dude, is that glow in the dark too? Good lord. What's the special attack? It's an uppercut. All right. We got this thing now. That looks, it looks like it's made of owl. Yeah, it does. 
Uh, okay, let's... What's an old weapon we will not possibly... Alright, let's put Frostnir in here, and we'll throw the Bronze Mason there. Okay. Alright, so we got that. Uh, looks like I'm to check my bases in the meadows. Start using phone or ASMR. Try out the sword, it costs less stamina per hit. I mean, the dagger it was my weapon for a long time. It costs, like, no stamina per hit. It's great. But I swapped over, because, like, this thing does very high blunt and also pierce damage. Gee, I wonder why. Okay. So, how to advance ourselves right now. We've got the flax growing. We've got wolves taming. Um, we need barley. I need to find another goblin base to mess up. There is one over by the bone mass camp. We can go mess with that. Uh, let's eat one of the best foods I got, which will give me a much, much larger health pool. And we will head in that direction. I might need more arrows. Let me get, uh, this and make one more stack of arrows before I go. Uh, thanks for, oh wait, uh, hello, thanks for Yplay Guild Wars 2 video, download it right now. Oh, nice, Vivo, I hope you enjoy it. If you need any help, we are here every single evening, and even if I'm playing different games, you're welcome to ask uh, Guild Wars 2 related questions. I get a lot of them, I'm totally okay with it. Okay, where is the bone mass portal? Here we go, right here. All right, chat, we're gonna go hunting in the plains, the most dangerous zone in the game currently. Uh, if you don't count the ocean. If you don't count the middle of the freaking ocean. All right. Couple things. Is there anything here that needs repairing? Yeah. Okay. So, we're gonna go south. Ooh, thistle. Don't mind if I do. And we get the wet buff. Oh no! What did I just get hit by? Dang it! A leech, I think. Bugger. I should be alright. I've got dummy thick health right now. Okay. Wow! There we go. I'm eating two different lox meats right now, so this is gonna be like the biggest health pool I've ever had. Uh, thank you so much. I actually thought about not talking about it. I went to your stream another game. Can you just check out the stream route? Yeah, no, I, I'm definitely... Uh-oh. I'm definitely most known for Guild Wars 2. So I get people... And, you know, I've got all the guides and stuff for it. So I, I, I welcome questions for that all the time. Okay. There's a Lox over there. Would love to kill that if I get the chance. Oh, that was a bird. I didn't. I couldn't tell what that was. All right, we're in planes oh, now. A new arrival. Welcome, new arrival. Hello. Okay. Those are really easy if you parry them and you see them coming. All right. Uh, there's some kind of goblin camp over there. There's multiple loxes. There's another death mosquito. Oh, shoot, it moved. Nice, I hit it. Okay. This is gonna take a few arrows. And by a few, I mean like maybe 20. Oh my Jesus! Let's see who I get with this one. I might have woken my son up, you suck. Seventy-one arrows remaining. Uh, 
Uh, try using your new mace on the locks. Uh, <laughs> that's really dangerous. I'll see what I can do. Uh, wow, that's actually pretty nice. Oh man, I gotta get a parry though. All right, maybe this is faster. Okay, my, I guess with all of this food in me, it's actually feasible to melee these. Usually they would just one shot kill me, so it's far too dangerous to do that. Oh my God, there's an army of goblins. Uh... Huh. Uh... Okay. Where did the other two go? That was, uh... That was scary. Okay, they're both down there. They're both down there. What armor are you wearing? Uh, silver armor from the mountains. I have not forged any black metal yet. Where did those goblins go? There's still two I haven't killed and they just ran around. Wolf armor then? Uh, I think so. Yes, yes, that's correct. Wait, there's something shining over there. What is that loot? Oh, that might be the stinger from the mosquito I shot earlier. Yeah, it was. Okay. Oh, there's more loxes over there. Heck yeah. And there's another mosquito. Whoa! <laughs> that, that was a panic shot, not a skill shot. Oh. It's like a Jurassic Park. He's a clever girl, and another one sneaks up on him. Been a second muck. Hope you're enjoying the new game. Germinator, what's up, buddy? Muckley Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire, the fourth, that's a chance about stuff as the third. Welcome to you, Germinator, back to the Bone Zone VIP Lounge. Hope you enjoy your stay team cripples on the way giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. Welcome back. Thank you for the support, and I am enjoying it. This is the longest I've ever played a survival RPG. Well, that's the fastest I've ever killed a Lox. Get that... As far as, far as I've found so far, this is the best meat in the game, so I want to grab all of this that I can carry. Uh, that reminds me, we should change to the wishbone if we can wear it. Failed to parry. Successful. Got him. <sighs> okay. Now, due to me accidentally misplanting, I didn't re understand. I, I planted all the barley I got in at my home, which is in the meadows, and it doesn't grow there. It all died. It has to be planted in plain. So I have no barley, and I need some. So the lo only time I found barley so far was in the middle of a goblin camp. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some here.
Okay, I hit him that time. He should see me. I actually kind of like that this doesn't knock them away as far as Frostnir did. Because Frostnir would send them flying so far away I couldn't follow it up. Did Muck just compliment himself? Yeah, I did. I'm happy with how I did that. Buff Goblin? Yeah, he lifts. I've got a storage chest by the portal. I, I might have to go back and put some things in there at some point. Mm, cleave damage, yep. Whoa, what is that big sparkly blue? Th oh, is that the shaman? I've never fought a shaman. I've always killed them from range before getting close. So I actually don't know what they do. Okay, they cast Magic Missile, apparently. And that ability, apparently he just did like a shield and my arrow broke it. So I guess it like blocks one attack or something. No knockback saying so I'm sticking to the spikes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't knock him back. In fact, they can't get away. Uh, I'm encumbered. I got to swap to the Meijing Jord. Meijing Jord. Meijing Jord. Can he get down here? Or is he stuck up there? Uh... Okay. That was an odd fight. I guess uh, there's a pathing issue there. Do you play Guild Wars off stream? I played Guild War. I play Guild Wars on stream every single night. Uh, or you know, t tonight I did it for three hours and then I swapped over to this just a little while ago. Um, I still love the game. It's just I I've played it for four thousand hours, so I, I gotta mix it up a bit. I really don't play mini games off stream at all just because of how much time I spend making content and stuff. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I ran out of stamina at a really bad moment. Uh, dude, Muck, I play Classic WoW, and I see a guy whose name is also Muck Looking Game. Is there any, th uh, something the name is from that this guy would take in as well? I mean, Muck Luck means shoe. It's, it's a word that has existed around for a long time. It's not necessarily like I invented the word. Now, when I started using the word, the word, when I was like 14, I had no idea it was already a word, but it already existed in the English language. So, you know, I, I can't put like a patent on it or anything like that. Oh, oh, I mistimed that. I mistimed that parry.
Yeah, I used it. I, I started using that as a, my name in video games when I was like 13. And I thought I was making up a word at the time. Turned out I was not. No room in inventory. Uh, okay, we're gonna jog back to my swamp camp and put this stuff in the chest. Uh, how long did it take me to create the Y Play Guild Wars 2 video? From my idea to collecting footage to editing and publishing. Um, a little, so, okay. So, that's actually an uh, interesting story. What first prompted, like, I had the idea for a while. But, and this is going to sound a touch greedy, but it's absolutely true, and I, I'm an honest guy. I didn't actually decide to do it until, uh-oh, hang on. Uh, Guild Wars 2, uh, when I became a, uh, in the ArenaNet partner program, one of the things I got was a referral link, which is basically if someone downloads the game using my referral link, you know, I convince them to give it a try, I get a little bit of kickback. I can't say how much because of a non-disclosure agreement, but I get uh, support. So then I, I really had a reason. Uh, so I made that video and I was like, all right, I am going to try to make, you know, essentially... What is it about this game that has me hooked? And I poured all that into the video. The mount system, the combat system, stuff like that. Everything in that video is what makes it the best MMO for me. Now, that not everyone will agree with that, but anyone of similar mindset would. And there's actually, if you look on my channel and type in Why Play, there's two videos. Uh, I, the first Why Play Guild Wars 2 did really well. It blew my channel up, and it was at the end of 2019. Um, I was talking to a guy from Stream Elements one day, and I was telling him about that video. He's like, oh, it's been almost a year? Yeah, I was like, yeah. And he goes, you should remake it. And I was like, what, just like redo the same video? And he's like, yeah, take your most successful videos and just uh, re re redo them each year. And I was like, really? And he's like, yes. And so I was like, okay. So now about this time, it's near the end of 2020, and I had just started working with Noxie the Noxian, who is currently my video editor, and she is way better at editing than I am. So I basically took the video, I went back through the original script, and I added a few minor things. There wasn't much that had changed. I recorded it all again, but this time I was recording it on my newer computer, so it was a lot nicer. Uh, and, oh, hang on a second. Making, I'm making mistakes here while I'm talking. So it was a, a much higher definition, crisper video, and then I added in a few things, and then I got Noxie, who was in my eyes, a professional editor, to edit it. So it came out looking a lot better. Uh, so then, you know, new version of the video comes out, and it's doing very well. And I am also fortunate that the YouTube algorithm is treating it very kindly. Because it is still, like, it came out a couple months ago, and it's still getting, like, 2,000 views a day. Which, for my channel, that's really good. That's really good. So that's kind of where we're at right now. But yeah, as far as the amount of time it takes, I don't have an exact number for you. But it, we did essentially, you know, it, there was the original video, which it took forever to make that, and then redoing the video. And even though I wasn't involved in the editing, you know, it took uh, Noxie a few days of like eight hours a day editing. And also it took me ages to film all that stuff. Like, you know, you look in that video, I tried to make it to where your eyes never get bored. So I was changing the scene constantly. And to that end, uh, it took, you know, I, I, I filmed like, you know, the roller beetle section from three different camera angles, the, uh, uh, you know, the, the Springer section from three different camera angles, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So a, a lot of time went into that one. I could hunt those locks, but for now I'm gonna head back to the goblins. But yeah, like my YouTube channel had below 1,000 subs when I made the original Y Play. Oh, I forgot to repair. When I made the original Y Play Guild Wars 2 explaining the appeal video, it, I remember that video pushed me over 1,000 subs because that was when my channel got monetized. And what that means is if you're watching a YouTube video and you're forced to watch like a, an, an advertisement, I would get like, you know, a, a fraction of a penny. 
which it's small, but that that that's how YouTubers make money. You know, if they basically if they if their video has like a couple thousand views, they'll get like they'll get like a hundred dollars for every few thousand views, depending on the uh, you know how many people see it. And up until that point, you know, I had been doing YouTube for a year and not made a single cent because I my stuff just hadn't gotten the uh, I hadn't it didn't have the thousand subs, which is the minimum requirement. Is there any rule of thumb to which server I should pick? Uh, anyone on NA can play with anyone else on any NA server. Anyone on EU can play with anyone else on any EU server. But if you want to world v world, you need to be on the exact same server because that game mode is literally servers fighting each other. So it is up to you if that is important to you. Is that barley? Oh, it's barley. It's not much, but it's some. I can work with this. Yeah, if I mean, if you wish to join us on the the occasion that we do it, we are on Gates of Madness. That's what uh, Jose is saying when he goes, "Come, we're on Gates of Madness." All right, I'm gonna X this out. Looks like it's is that a tower or just a rock over there? It's a big boy. Some kind of building over there. If my friend picked another server, we could still play together. If, it, as long as you both picked North American servers or you both picked European servers, you could still do PvP, open world, dungeons, raids, fractal strikes, everything except World v. World together. For World v. World, you got to be on the same server. There are some exceptions, but it's better to just assume that what I said is law, and that, that's a lot simpler. So this game is an early access. So There's definitely when mobs are up, like, on these little things. They seem to be unable to get down. Would love to see them fix that in time. Oh, I did not see you hiding in the shadow. Those spears will, like... I think, like, with my current food buffs, like, two or three of those spears would kill me. Mm, I might have to climb up there. What servers are best for World v. World? Uh, I mean, that's just gonna depend on the player population. Oh, nice. I wasn't sure if this thing could break through these. Like, essentially, which servers are the best is just basically which server has the most organized group of people that are the best at, you know, large-scale slaughter. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Dude, these guys are so strong. They're just, like, changing the shape of the tower when they swing at me in anger. Oh, wow. I staggered him, and that last arrow is, like, a, a headshot or something. What the... Okay, I didn't see that one. Dude, I'm, like, almost stuck in here. They're literally destroying the stone blocks. Oh, my God. This is... In no game have I ever been more scared of goblins than this game. These guys are incredible. Okay, three barley. This was all worth it. Okay. What is this? Uh, wood. <sighs> uh, you know, I should mark this and then exit off. Uh, ruin and then clear it so I can tell uh, from looking at my map that I've done that. There's something satisfying about looking at a map that you did so much work making yourself. It's honestly been decades since I last played a game where I had to put in work to making the minimap. I I don't hate it. Oh, 
And that first arrow had basically had sneak attack bonus, so that should have done some, some extra damage. If I can get him away from the others, I'll switch to melee to save arrows, but... Come here, dude. Come and get it. I don't want to fight more than one of these at once. Go. Ah. <sighs> Uh, this, the cost to swap, okay, first of all, when you swap servers, the first swap is free. And besides that, uh, after that, it depends on the population of the target server. Uh, the higher the pop, the more the cost. But if, if you own a full copy of the game, like you bought the expansions, I think you get one free server swap. don't want to fight two at once. I do not want to fight two at once. Oh, there goes over a third of my hit point bar. He got one attack third shot and bye-bye hit points. Okay, he's...